to Copycat. Keep watching if you want to see me transform into Melanie Martinez. First, I put in some brown circle lenses. I applied my foundation with a beauty blender using quick patting motions to create the most even coverage possible. Then I swept concealer underneath my eyes, on my nose, forehead, and chin. Then I blended it all out, of course. To set everything in place, I applied an under eye powder under my eyes, duh. Then used a translucent powder on the rest of my face. To add some color and dimension, I blended an orange toned blush right along my cheekbones. Then highlighted just above that blush color, as well as on the bridge and tip of my nose. Eyebrow time! I wanted these to be as straight as possible. Using a brow pomade and angled brush, I drew the outline I wanted, then added some more pomade to fill in the shape. Obviously, I repeated the process on the other side too. The front of Melanie's straight brows tend to be more on the squared side, so I used my angled brush to mimic that. Now for some eyeshadow. Melanie loves bold colors, so I took a deep burnt orange eyeshadow and blended it in a circular motion in the crease and edge of my eyes. To make the color a little bit more whimsical, I also blended a bright purple eyeshadow in too. To create the illusion of having larger eyes, I applied white eyeliner to my bottom waterline and a little under my bottom lash line as well. Then I blended the orange and purple shadow mixture right under that white eyeliner. For some extra shimmer, I applied my highlight color to the front corners of my eyes. And using some black liquid eyeliner, I created a small wing as well as four dramatic faux bottom lashes. Then I applied some mascara using a sideways sweeping motion to only my top eyelashes. I really wanted to mimic Melanie's adorable white freckles, so I used a white liquid eyeliner to dot them on. To add some classic crybaby teardrops, I painted them on with an angled brush and a light blue lipstick. Finally, I applied a muted gray-brown matte lipstick to complete my makeup. What would a Melanie transformation even be without her adorable gap? To create one for myself, I dried my teeth off as much as I possibly could. <laughs> then I used an angled brush and brow pomade to draw it on. After a couple more tiny details, my Melanie Martinez transformation is complete! for watching my Melanie Martinez transformation. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button below, as well as subscribe to Hissy Fit for more awesome content. I'll see you next time. Bye.